Hey there, Wade. Get ready for a thrilling ride into the world of colossal farming machines. In today's episode of Massive and Extreme Powerful Agriculture Machines, we're zooming in on the incredible KRO and E Squadro TC1570. This beast means serious business on the farm. We're talking massive swath widths and cutting edge tech that will blow your mind. So if you're curious about how these giants are transforming agriculture, hit that subscribe button and buckle up for a farmtastic adventure. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you're excited to see what this monster can do. With the new Swadro TC1570, Caro and E sets new standards in the four rotor rake segment. In addition to other technical features, this is ensured in particular by the well-proven V-frame concept adapted from the world's largest center rotor rake, the Swadro T2000. This concept gives the machine not only a flexible working width of up to 15.70 meters, but also extremely stable and smooth running. With a new clear and intuitive user interface, the entire machine can be operated from the tractor cab via an ISOBUS compatible terminal or in combination with an ISOBUS joystick. In this way, the Swadro TC1570 always achieves the best raking results, even under the most difficult conditions. The working width of the four rotor rake center delivery can be variably adjusted up to 15.70 meters via the front rotors guided by the VO triggers. As the two VO triggers can be retracted and extended independently of each other, field corners and obstacles can also be raked out effortlessly. In addition, the out triggers are each supported by a support wheel in the front area. As a result, the machine is characterized by unprecedented quiet running, especially at high speeds and also during fast turning maneuvers at the headland. The result? Maximum acreage output and maximum efficiency. So what makes the Caro and E Swadro TC1570 so special? Well, for starters, it's all about setting new standards in the four rotor rate game. This beast is equipped with a V-frame concept, borrowed from the world's largest center rotor rake, the Swadro T2000. This concept gives it a flexible working width of up to a whopping 15.70 meters. Yes, you heard me right, 15.70 meters. Operator comfort, but that's not all. It's not just about size, it's about comfort and efficiency. The Swadro TC1570 is designed with maximum operator comfort in mind. You can control this bad boy from the tractor cab using an ISOBUS compatible terminal or an ISOBUS joystick, thanks to the new clear and intuitive user interface. This means that no matter how challenging the conditions are, the Swadro TC1570 will always give you the best raking results. Maximum flexibility and stability. But wait, there's more. The working width is not fixed, it's flexible. The front rotors, guided by VOW triggers, can be adjusted independently up to 15.70 meters. This allows you to effortlessly rake out field corners and tackle any obstacles in your path. Plus, the support wheels at the front and a clever design make it incredibly stable and quiet, even at high speeds and during those fast headland turns. The result? Maximum acreage output and efficiency. Impressive tine arms? Now, let's talk about those tine arms. There are 15 tine arms on all four rotors, with five tines per arm on the two rear rotors. This setup ensures loss-free raking even at high driving speeds. The lift tines, known as the KRO and E Easy Line, do a fantastic job of cleanly lifting crops from the sward. And get this, the front two rotors can rotate about 25% faster than the rear ones, ensuring an optimum forage flow and tangle-free, box-shaped swaths. This makes life easier for the harvesting machines that come after like balers or forage transport wagons. Maneuverability and transport. But what about maneuverability and transport? The Swadro TC1570 comes with a category I slash II pendulum suspended two-point hitch that compensates for uneven ground and offers an enormous steering angle. It's a breeze to transport with a hydraulic lowerable mainframe, which means you don't have to fold down those tine arms for road travel. Features galore. Now let's talk about features. The Swadro TC1570 is loaded with them. You can adjust the rotor height easily, even while working, thanks to the electrical rotor height adjustment. This is super handy for different field and forage conditions. There's also hydraulic rotor relief, which ensures the rotors maintain just the right amount of pressure. This is adjustable for both front and rear rotors, even while you're on the move. Smooth as silk. The integrated vibration damping ensures the machine runs smoothly during headland maneuvers and a soft down automatic lowering mechanism means the out-trigger arms touch down gently, protecting both the machine and the sword. Customized operation. 
But here's the kicker. You can customize the operation according to your needs. Adjust the lifting heights of the rotors via the operating terminal. For example, they can lift just as far as necessary at the headland to avoid destroying existing swaths. You can also adjust the lift delay of the rear rotors compared to the front ones right from the cab. It's all about giving you control. Section Control And for the tech savvy among us, the Swatro TC1570 comes with Section Control Partial Width Switching. The rotors are lifted and lowered automatically using GPS positioning. This not only relieves the driver but also increases acreage output. The brand final. To wrap it all up, the KRONE Swadro TC1570, with its unique V-frame concept, extensive features, and top-notch operator comfort, takes the four-rotor rate game to a whole new level. With a maximum working width of 15.70 meters, it's perfect for controlled traffic farming systems. Caro and E has found the sweet spot between the Swadro TC1370 with four rotors and the Swadro T2000 with six rotors, making the Swadro TC1570 a fascinating addition to the professional rake segment. So there you have it, folks, the Caro and E Swadro TC1570, the biggest and baddest four-rotor rake in the world. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.